So now I'm going to show you how to get your goodies. You'll need to go to the SE-5-1000 website. You want to log in. Then you want to go down to updating your SE-5-1000. From here you're going to click on SE-5-1000 software update. If you're English speaking. You can go to the German one if you want to go German. And here, just go ahead and click on latest software update for the SE5 1000 software. Box like this. And save file. It's about 27 megabytes. That'll take a little while to download. If you want to monitor your downloads, you can go up to Tools and Downloads and watch the progress here. So now the update is almost finished downloading. Finished, you probably have some kind of virus scan to make sure it's okay. And then once it's finished downloading, just double click on it. You should get this window. Now make sure that your SE5-1000 software is turned off before you run this, this program, otherwise it won't work. Go ahead and click on Run. You want to click on Browse and you want to go to where your SE5-1000 software is located. So I'm going to go to Documents. Now, most people have it under My Documents. You can see I have a lot more programs than that. And I'm going to put it into my SE5-1000 English folder. So just click on your SE5-1000 English folder, then click OK. Now we just click Extract, and it's going to say these files already exist. Just say Yes to All, and now you have Update Complete. So when you start your SE5-1000 software, you will have all the updates. And also, you're going to have a new database in there as well. Now let me show you how to change databases. For example, if I go up to File, and I go to Choose Database, you won't have this many databases. I have a lot of different databases. But um, let's say you want to choose that new program that you just downloaded. One of them is the Fixed Programs Database. So I click Start and it's going to process the database. And now when I go to look under Programs, instead of having the normal programs that I normally would have, I have all the different programs that are inside of the SE5-1000 internal memory. You want to change the sequence of them if they don't come up 1 through 20 for you. Then just click on description and it'll put them into alphabetical order or numerical order in this case. Then just click save sequence. So next time when I open these, they'll all be in that same order. So that's just one of the presents that I have for you. The next one are some of the new features that I'll show you in the next video. Today I'd like to show you some of the new features of the SE5-1000 software that we've been working on. The first one is when you set up to do a multi-balancing session, let's say you want to do several clients one after the other, or you could only add in several different clients, like let's say I did the first one was a DNA repair. First you would set up your balancing time for each of the sessions. Set up the delay. Set up the number of cycles. Then the time between each of the sessions first one to our multi-balancing session, then I could choose another client. Run this program next, I would set up the balancing time for this particular program.
understand the time between each one of the sessions. And then I could add a third client, of course, and even more if I wanted to. Set up the balancing time, the delay, the cycles, the time between the sessions. So, after I've added all these, the new feature is now I can save this list. If I want to run this list again in a few days or a week, I can save this list. All this example one, but you could probably give it a name that would mean something to you and possibly the first time you ran the program. Now, this set of programs could be loaded bring in these three sets of programs or sessions to be run. So that's the first improvement that we made. The second one is you can now also create a daily repeat of this. Let's say you wanted to run this particular session, set of sessions for different clients every day starting at 5.14 p.m. Well, let's say 5.15. And of course you could douse for this to find out exactly what would be the best time to start these sessions. Call this also example one. And now when I click on true, I click add, this set of sessions will run automatically every single day at 5.15 p.m. I'll show you how it works. It's about 4.30 here right now. So I'm going to set this for 4 o'clock, 32 minutes, so in about one minute, run this set of sessions. So if I go and load this set now, example one, and it's all set up to run in one minute, all I have to do is close this window and as soon as the clock ticks over to 432 it will put the instrument into balance and start balancing the first session and then the second session and the third session and it'll do this every day until I come back from my vacation I have this all set up ready to go and it'll balance every day those sessions for me just clicked over to 432 and up comes the balancing window and begins balancing the first session. Now there's another way you can also use this. For example, if you want to even want to just balance one session, but you wanted it to start balancing at a specific time, then I could go to a specific session. Okay, I want to run the radiation program. Again, you want to set up your your balancing time, play number of cycles, interval between each session is not very necessary because there's only going to be one session. So I would add this session and you need to save it first before you can have it as a daily repeat. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it Delayed Start. On. Okay, so I now have this as a saved series of sessions even though it's just one session. And now I can set it up as a daily repeat. Call this a delayed start for dawn and let's say I want I would check for this to see when the best time would be first of all so let's say I wanted to check would it be good to start at 12 o'clock midnight 1 o'clock 2 o'clock and I'm rubbing on the plate while I'm asking these questions 3 o'clock 
Now I get a stick at 3 o'clock, so then I would go, okay, would it be between 3 and 3.30? Yes. Would it be between 3 and 3.15? No. 3.20? No. 3.25? Yes. Okay, so it's somewhere between 3.25 and 3.30, so I then ask 3.25, 3.26, 327. Okay, so I can start it at 327 a.m. That would be the optimal time for this program. Click the true button so it'll start it. And now I just leave my SE5 on and the software on and at 327 a.m. it'll start balancing my session. That would be an optimal time window to begin balancing this session.